Jana here from Scale and Simplify. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to sign up for a Kartra account. Now, it is pretty straightforward, but there are a few little details that we want to make sure that you get right off the bat. And so I wanted to bring that to your attention. So I'm just on the page here where we can sign up for a trial. They offer a $1 14-day trial. Okay, so now at the top here, we can see it says pick your 14 day trial. So we are on the right track and I'm just going to go with the, um, the starter first package. We're going to start trial. Okay, so now we're going to put our, our name, our contact information here um, the first thing that i want to note is to you know think about the email that you want to use for a second because that's not only going to be the email that you log in with but it'll be kind of the default email for any system notifications that come from kartra for you um, and so maybe if you have a team you want to have that going to a like a team shared email as opposed to directly to your personal email it is also going to be the default from email that is through your system and you can change this once you have once you've gotten into the account but it just makes it easier if you kind of consider some of those things before you get started so i'm going to put in my information We're going to click continue. So we see here we're on the starter package, but we are doing it for a $1 trial. And we're just going to put in your credit card information and agree to the billing details. Now it is, it continues after the 14 days, you're going to start the $99 plan or whichever one you have selected. But you do, they have lots of onboarding emails and all of this. And so you're not gonna be taken by surprise after those 14 days. Um, this isn't gonna be something where you sign up for it and you forget it and then you end up getting billed because you you know, maybe changed your mind about it and forgot to cancel. There are tons of touch points and communication coming from Kartra in the 14 days after you have signed up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and submit the payment. Okay, and then we are directed to create our account domain name. Now, this is very important. This cannot be changed after you enter it here. So consider it carefully. This is going to be a system-wide domain that is used. So for example, unless you integrate with a custom domain, like for me, scaleandsimplify.com, um, this is going to be the, the URL, the starting of the URL for all of your pages. And so choose it carefully. And there's a minimum character limit here of four characters, just so that you know. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a password. OK, and then we need to pick a secret question. This is something obviously we're blurring out here. But this is something that you're going to be asked every time you go to edit your profile settings. So anything like your email, your logo, kind of general contact information. And so make sure that it's something that you're going to remember. OK, and then the next thing also highly important is selecting the currency. And so within Kartra, we can only have one currency per account. So we want to make sure that here you are selecting the currency in which you are charging your clients or pricing your products. Okay, and then you're just gonna pick your time zone. Okay, and so now our signup is confirmed and we've got a lovely little welcome here from Kartra. Uh, like I said, they're going to be sending you emails with specific instructions. I'm also gonna have you can refer to some of my other tutorials for getting started and all of that. But here you can see, like they tell you to check your email and there are detailed step-by-step -step instructions as to the next steps that you can take. 
um, right when you get here, you're going to log into your account and look around there, see what is available for you. Um, they have a Cartronaut, their training center. Um, you can check that out. They have lots of resources, regular Q&A live calls. A support team, I also recommend that you join the Facebook group. There's tons of people in there who are super helpful and you can get answers pretty quickly when you get um, hung up on something or um, you can even search the group for previous questions that have been asked. There's pretty much everything in there and lots of other fun things. So like I said, I'm not going to go into detail as to the next steps in this video, but from here you would check your inbox and see what they have as the next steps for you and then start building your funnels. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click like below and subscribe to our channel for more tips on scaling and simplifying your online business. If you know someone else who would benefit from this video or similar ones, share it with them as well. Thanks for watching.